goal here is to help answer questions about what is the right decision for my daily regimen? What is the best supplement regimen or option for me? And as you know, we are live. We are going live and this is streaming live on Nutrametrics.com where we hope to be an asset to your healthcare decisions, to your supplement decisions and ultimately a resource to your well-being. I hope you share what you learn here today with other individuals, whether you are working in the professional arena and you use supplementations in practice, if you're like me and you are a practitioner, or you are someone that is a professional consultant to practitioners, helping them put wellness solutions within their practice, or maybe you are simply a consumer of supplementation and you want help making the right decision for you. We would love to be, as I said, your friend in wellness and in longevity. So to that end, I want to share with you a presentation that you may find um, interesting and um, that may work for you when we think about making a decision. The idea here is to create that wellness solution for you. The idea here is to create a solution for you that answers the questions about longevity, that answers your questions about well being, that answers the questions that you may have about how do I help my family and my community be healthier today. And that's why I ask you, or I task you with the decision to live life vibrantly. At the end of the day, the human body works just like a machine, right? We've got moving parts and we need to grease our grooves. For all of those parts to work together, they need to be working much like a symphony. Which is it, Dr. D? Am I a car, right? Am I a mechanical part or am I a symphony? At the end of the day, I want whether we're referring to you as an engine or a symphony, I want that to sing, right? And that means we have to identify the issues or the concerns we have with day-to-day -day quality of life factors. What are your internal burdens and your external burdens? And what I mean by that is it is okay to say, I eat right or I eat well, right? But if you're not sleeping well, if you are not exercising to your very best self, the self that you want to have in 30, 40, or 50 years, well, then you are not, in fact, doing everything that you can to manage both internal and external stressors that lead to a healthy metabolism or a declining metabolism. If at the end of the day where we want to pay attention to what I refer to as the four S's, your sleep habits, your stress habits, your supplement habits, and do you live a sedentary lifestyle, right? So we've got to talk about fitness habits as well. It's unfortunate for us that fitness didn't start with an S, right? But at the end of the day, that's really what I want when we think about the mechanics of you and either tuning your instrument or tuning your engine. It comes down to what you are, uh, it comes down to the nutrients that you are getting or you're not getting, the sleep that you are getting or you're not getting, the stress that you have or the stress that you manage, right? Do you pick up heavy things and put them back down again? Or are you spending most of your time on the couch? We want to address all of these factors. The point here is that many of these issues, you're gonna prioritize yourself. It's not for me to tell you that stress is the number one issue. While it may be a massive concern for most people, if you say to me, no, I really feel like I need to get a hold of my diet, or I really need to get a hold of my fitness, then I'm going to say you're going to put these into a priority that works for you. At the end of the day, when you commit to something, you'll see the others fall into place. For us to keep ourselves functioning well, we do have to consider how we are being fed, how we are being nourished. What are we doing to give ourselves the energy? 
right? Are you a Yugo running on jet fuel because you're forcing a bunch of caffeine in and a bunch of sugar in, but you're missing out on the reds, the greens, the blues, and the purples? That's the way a lot of people in the United States live. And for that reason, they complain of things like fatigue, joint aches and pains. They complain of head discomfort, sleepless nights, or low libido. All of these things we can address when we pay attention to diet and supplementation. Now, I know what you're saying. Didn't I just give you permission to inventory the way it was best for you? Maybe sleep is the thing that you're the most interested in. My point here is regardless of how you line up your checklist, your to-do list, your I'm going to do better with, nutrients rule the roost. The road to health, as I often like to say, is paved with good intestines, which means we're going to need to supplement and eat to our fitness factors. We're going to need to supplement or eat to our sleep habits, and we're going to need to supplement and eat to our gender and our age. Depending on you is how we're going to make a decision on your supplementation. When we look at the quality of food, when people ask me, can't I just get everything through diet alone? Listen, that is a valiant um, and, and virtuous task, right? I want you to get most of your nutrients through food. At the end of the day, I need you to get good proteins, good fats, and good fiber carbohydrates dense carbohydrates, right? I want you to eat food in its natural state. I want you to stop getting your food out of a window, out of a box, or out of a bag. That's absolutely where this should start, and that is the foundation of well-being. But we live in a toxic world. We live in a world where food is not grown to be nutritionally dense. It's simply grown to be large, which means it's maybe calorically dense, but it is not nutritionally dense right? It may be heavy on the starch side because we've grown our vegetables and our fruits to be very big, but they are nutrient deplete. Maybe because they have been pulled before they are ripe. Maybe because they have been transported across the United States, depending on where you live. If you're not able to eat locally or you're not purchasing locally, you may not be getting dense or concentrated nutrients in the foods, even if they are colorful. Right, And so we want to think about how we're going to fill in gaps where our diet falls short, whether our diet is falling short because foods are not grown to be nutritious today, just big and value oriented, right? Maybe because we're not purchasing from our farmer's market or local farmers, maybe because our sleep habits are burning through our savings account way too quickly, maybe because our Stress habits are burning through our savings accounts, the gasoline in our tanks. And for that reason, we need to start thinking about ways to fill in gaps where our diet falls short. My big question for you is, are there targets that you're missing? Targets that you cannot overlook. We've mentioned sleep, right? We've mentioned stress. We've mentioned fitness and we've mentioned supplementation. But do you have a complaint for which you're already needing support? Do you have a family history of a concern where you would like to kind of um, put the, the hold or the brakes on that? And you would like to see what is it that I could do that may limit or prevent the progression, severity, or duration of a complaint, right? This is where I want you to start. When you ask yourself, do I need to supplement? I want you to ask yourself, can a poor lifestyle lead to poor cellular function? I'm gonna guess if I let you all raise your hands or unmuted you, you would say, of course it does. A poor lifestyle does not lead to a fine tuned instrument or fine humming engine, right? Now I need you to ask yourself a really important question. This one gets personal. Is your lifestyle leading to a poor cellular or your own cellular function? Is your lifestyle preventing you from being as healthy as you can be? Are there things that you could change, commit to, or otherwise, otherwise rearrange that would create better cellular function for you? If you've answered yes, there are some things that you can change, but it's hard. 
then I want you to consider supplementation. I want you to consider supplementation for a number of different reasons. When we evaluate an individual's spectrum of health, would you be surprised to learn that 97% of adults today live in a state of sub-health? There's a very small percentage of people that live without itchy, watery eyes, chest congestion, a sense of breathlessness, um, sore throat, low mood, sleep disorders, right? Sleep issues, difficulty with mental focus. Sometimes I'll call it a brain fog. We find individuals that find it normal to have pain after they eat. This is a sense of sub health or suboptimal well being. And 97% of the adult population in the United States lives with these things and they consider them normal. They consider them normal because someone to the right and someone to their left has the exact same complaints, right? If we think about it, we are surrounded by people that have concerns with fatigue, with stress, with low libido, with excess weight. And because we look around and we see that this is the way everyone is living, we ended up moving the needle and thinking it was okay for us to live that way. If you want something different, if you want something better. And in this sense, let's pick what you want, right? What do you want uh, out of life? As opposed to thinking about what you want to get rid of, right? Do you want more energy, right? Do you want um, to have a better mental concentration? What do you want to add to your life? Let's stop talking in terms of what am I going to lose if I commit to a healthy lifestyle? And let's start talking about things that we're going to add. Do me a favor, Raise your hand if you, at the age of 90, want to be able to get up off of the toilet all by yourself. Me too. And for that reason, I want to, this is awesome. Everyone raised their hand. That's terrific. I didn't know it would do that. Um, this is the point. If you want that, like I want that, the time is now to supplement well, to eat well, to sleep well, and to put effort towards your fitness. If that starts with body weight squats today, perfect. That's exactly how I want this to start with you. If it starts with one body weight squat, I'm cool with that. I just want tomorrow for it to be two and the next day for it to be three. I just want you to add one more. And it's amazing because at the end of a month, you're able to do 30 in a row, 31 in a row. This is how I learned to do push-ups because I wasn't good at push-ups. And the magical thing is for a lot of people, push-ups turn into pull-ups. And that's a very powerful place to be when we think about the capacity of our body. So let's ask ourselves this question. If we can agree that our lifestyles may be contributing to poor um, cellular function, Ask yourself the next question. What are you doing each and every day to create a better habit towards better health? What is the thing that you're going to add instead of thinking about the things that you're going to take away? Well, supplementation may be one of the things that you decide to add. At the end of the day, we are living in a very different world. There's a changing health landscape out there. And because there are greater demands on us, both physically and mentally, we need to think about supplementing to that end of better brain focus, better body metabolism, improved physical performance, metabolic performance, mental well being. The idea here is to create vitality, longevity. And that's something that we believe supplementation can do for you. And it is never too early to pay attention, but more importantly, it's never too late to pay attention. It is never too late to start taking care of your health and start focusing on improved quality of life. The idea here is to find the solution that is right for you. That is why you need to know what makes you different so that you can prioritize an antioxidant, an omega-3 fatty acid, a B-complex, so that you know what will work for you. In addition to that, you want to know what will work for you. And that means paying attention to the quality of the ingredients, the delivery of the ingredients if you're taking supplementation and the combination 
of ingredients. You want to be focusing on working with companies that support billion dollar industries, whether that is cosmeceuticals, whether that is um, um, weight management, whether that is looking at um, the industry of age management, whatever it is for you, we want to help you get the very best products for you. And that's why Market America focuses on the very best delivery systems. Whether that is our trademarked isotonic delivery system, whether we're talking about phytosomal or liposomal technology, whether sustained release technology is the appropriate way to deliver a product, what we do very well is focus on the delivery of nutrients and help them be delivered in a similar fashion to they would be in nature. At the end of the day, we're looking to copy nature. And that's why we have our flagship delivery system, the isotonic delivery system, the world's most advanced delivery system. This is because we have created a supplement line that is focused on no fillers and no binders, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, just the good stuff that you want, cutting out the junk that you don't. But we've been able to create it in a physiolog physiologically responsible way. What I mean by that is that we copied nature. We created a solution that when taken on an empty stomach, your body would recognize as self, would assist in its delivery, the isotonic delivery assists in the efficient movement of nutrients from the stomach into the small intestine where they can be absorbed, where they are concentrated and intact because they did not spend a prolonged period of time in the stomach being exposed to stomach acid. In fact, absorption and concentration of nutritional supplements are two of the most important factors at, at play here when we think about whether or not a product will produce the results for you. So you wanna make sure that the multivitamin that you're taking, the antioxidant that you're taking, the B vitamins or the minerals, that they are delivered in a way that they will have a high concentration, a high concentration and the capacity for high absorption. And that's how we built the isotonic delivery system. When evaluating how the body works, right? The isotonic solution is in a form specifically designed for absorption using ingredients like citric acid, malic acid, as well as fructose and glucose. We are able to create a pH responsible solution that when taken on an empty stomach is efficiently moved from the stomach into the small intestine for absorption. It is built on motivating those nutrients to cross the cell membrane and get into the bloodstream faster and concentrated, ready to do the job that they were meant to do. In the time it takes most capsules and tablets to break down in your stomach, they've been exposed to stomach acid for a prolonged period of time. It's during that period, that digestion period, where they may be, because of their exposure, the nutrients may not be delivered as concentrated or in the right form. And when I say the right form, I'm talking about the complexes that are naturally um, part of a formula, naturally part of an antioxidant, naturally part of a botanical and making sure that those nutrients can be delivered intact and concentrated. We want you to know that we delivered the isotonic solution in such a way that it would stimulate sensory cells at the base of the stomach. These are called osmol receptors. And the goal of me telling you that isn't so that you'll remember osmol receptors, it's so that you know that we copied nature, that we copied your body's natural physiology. We focused on making sure that sensory cells at the base of the stomach would have a solution that it both recognized as self and within a proper pH to quickly be delivered to the small intestine from the stomach. We also know that fillers and binders can often get in the way. Formulas must be created correctly. Pills must be made well for them to be able to withstand stomach acid, but then appropriately be delivered and put and dissolve 
um, and break down so that you can absorb their nutrients. This is why we focused on the isotonic delivery wherever we could, because we could eliminate the need for fillers and binders. We could eliminate the excess that allows a product to stay shelf stable with chemicals or synthetics. And um, by offering you a product in an isotonic form, not only could we offer you purity of process, purity of ingredients, um, but we could copy the body's natural physiology and we could avoid fillers and binders. Now this does bring up an important question. Why aren't all of the isotonics, why aren't all of Market America products isotonic? Because not everything can be rendered isotonic, nor should everything be rendered isotonic. Things like probiotics, for example. I don't need those in my small intestine, save a few um, select probiotic strains. For the uh, most part, probiotics need to be delivered to the large intestine. And so the isotonic delivery is not the best delivery. Sustained release delivery is what is the best delivery for probiotics. And it's why we focus on nature and on physiology and the best way to deliver a product. So when we can avoid fillers and binders, we do. When we have to use a soft gelatine, soft uh, gel capsule. We'll do that, but we'll focus on it being a soft gelatine so it's easy to break down, but it's still double walled so that you don't have to worry about any oxidation. When probiotics should have the sustained release technology, that's exactly what we gave them. When capsules or tablets need to be used, we minimize the excipients that would be used and focus on things like vegetarian capsules where possible. The idea here is that we're looking, whether it's isotonic or any of our supplement line, that we want to make sure that we're using the very best ingredients, formulating them to the end of the very best supplements that you can combine to create the very best supplement regimen for you. Now, many people say, if isotonics are so special, how come I've never heard of isotonics before? You have. You hear about them. Um, just not by the term isotonic. Um, if you've ever had um, the need for a rehydration drink, you're taking a solution um, that is based on isotonic delivery. If you've ever had IV rehydration, you're looking at a principle that is similar to the isotonic delivery. If you've ever needed to take for athletic purposes or um, um, perhaps you've been ill and your doctors have recommended that you rehydrate. You've been doing this with an, um, uh, an, um, an electrolyte style drink, and that is the isotonic delivery. We know that this functions, um, whether we're talking about supplementation or we're talking about rehydration drinks, because of the way the body works, the stomach empties and squirts. The more sugar or carbohydrates present, the slower the stomach empties. And that's how we can control for how quickly something moves out of the stomach. The greater volume of liquid in the stomach, the greater initial rate of stomach emptying. So what if we created an isotonic solution that is formulated with the proper volume of fluid as well as the proper solution of fructose and glucose so that we can pay attention to the body's natural physiology and make sure that you have the very best of delivery. The sugar content in a product strongly influences the rate of how quickly something will leave the stomach. And that's why there is sugar in isotonics. This is a non-GMO sugar that, uh, that is in a proper range so that the stomach can empty quickly and efficiently. It's in fact that fast delivery that makes those nutrients be delivered in a concentrated fashion. It's also the lack of those fillers and binders in an isotonic delivery that makes sure that we do not put any hold or any limit on absorption of those nutrients. And this is why I ask the big question, is your supplement really delivering for you? Or do you need to look for a new supplement that focuses on delivery? Well, the isotonic solution may be the way that you do this by putting the fructose and the glucose, the citric acid and the malic acid, the 
uh, uh, nutrients and food-based ingredients that help with mouthfeel, that help with uh, the texture, solution, solubility, and make sure that everything stays in solution, all of that we created. And the magic of the isotonic delivery is that we did it unique to each one of the products. None of the isotonics have the same base. It's based on the science-backed ingredients, these leading actors, as I like to call them, that are put in the product that we then create a synergy of other ingredients around that leading actor. And then based on their molecular weight, based on their molecular activity, are able to backfill with the proper amount of fructose and glucose, citric acid and malic acid to ensure that isotonic tone, that isotonic delivery. We put clinically based ingredients, whether it's quatrifolate for our uh, folate, our natural folate or uh, B9, sun active iron, a non-constipating, non-headache forming iron with a very high bioavailability, lactospore as um, a lactobacillus coagulant, a postbiotic, very beneficial um, for all ages. And that's why we have lactospore in multiple products um, for young children as well as adults. We use menequinone 7, a non-synthetic K2 in our vitamin D. Pycnogenol, we have nine products with pycnogenol. The, um, the most clinically evidenced antioxidant um, out there in the nutritional market space, Astoreal Astaxanthin, considered one of the most highly beneficial forms of astaxanthin available on the market, backed by many, many research studies, whether we're talking about visual health, cardiovascular health, metabolic endurance, or cosmic, um, cosmic, cosmeceutical or skin health benefits, weight loss with tonalin, and neurologic benefits, as well as detoxification and methylation benefits with curcucrine. The list goes on and on. One of my favorite ingredients to recommend, not just today, every day, is sensorel ashwagandha. Because ashwagandha as an adaptogen that we offer through our products, beneficial for sexual health, for mental well-being, for physical endurance, for immune health. All of these things come together, whether we're talking about glandular health, mental health, overall well-being. Ashwagandha is one of these adaptogens that should be a part of everybody's regimen. I want you to know that we've put together products for you that are naturally derived, that are gluten-free, dairy-free, no soy, no yeast, no artificial flavors or preservatives. We use food-based ingredients. We use clinically evidenced ingredients. Pycnogenol, pycnogenol as, I often, as I love to tell people, is the leader in research in antioxidants with over 160 clinical studies and 420, 420 scientific publications. This is a powerful place to be because not only do we have a large library of evidence for its mechanism of action and tissue specific benefits, but also the clinical studies in humans to show the benefit um, regardless of age, gender, and activity level. The focus of pycnogenol is often about circulation, right? And in the toxic world that we live in today, circulation should be, uh, you know, our goal is to help circulation move free, just like you're seeing here, right? But at the end of the day, we live in a pretty toxic world, which means sometimes circulation looks like this. There's a lot to overcome. There's a lot to deal with. So whether you have a family history of cardiovascular concerns, or you simply want the best blood flow to your muscles and to your brain. You want to be looking at the benefits of an antioxidant like pycnogenol. When we look at pycnogenol and blood flow, it's not unique to the heart. In fact, pycnogenol superpower is oxygen carrying capacity and improving blood flow to all tissues. This is from the tips of your head, the tips of your nose to the tips of your toes. What we find is that individuals in clinical studies 
have better cardiovascular support. They have better recovery after physical exercise. They have improved energy and stamina. Um, and this has a great deal to do with the clinically evidenced ingredient pycnogenol. I want you to think then, is pycnogenol right for me? Well, you know it's right for you if you have a lifestyle factor that decreases the health of blood flow, right? Oxygen carrying capacity, whether you are a smoker, um, whether you are someone that works with a lot of oxidative stress with chemicals, whether you eat foods um, that create peroxide, maybe you overcook foods, maybe you spend a lot of time outdoors. Um, these are all different reasons why you may want to think about taking an antioxidant, but I believe it's important for you to take an antioxidant because free radicals are literally everywhere. The, you take a, breath, a breath in and a breath out and you are creating free radicals. You add on the external stressors of the world around us, pollution and UV rays from the world around us. You think about the stress that you have and the sleep that you're not getting, and you're creating more free radicals. Making an antioxidant supplementation or an antioxidant supplement, not just prudent, quite frankly, essential or necessary. Now, it, antioxidants come in many different forms and antioxidants work together. So you may wanna get started simply with a multivitamin, which gives you vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta carotene. You should know when it comes to detoxification that minerals are doing the heavy lifting. Make sure at the very least, when we think about building a better foundation through supplementation, that you're considering a multivitamin to make sure that you're getting the very best of those ingredients. I suggest an isotonic multivitamin to make sure that you're getting the very best concentration of those ingredients. I'm gonna ask you to look at an isotonic formula. But beyond that, for people that have a more pronounced need, where blood flow is their big concern, where age management, joint health um, are their big concerns, um, then I want you to consider OPCs because OPCs like pycnogenol, like bilberry extract, like resveratrol are all beneficial to support your health and your well being. Common ones that you uh, may have heard of are resveratrol or grapeseed extract. And it's why we put multiple um, antioxidants in our OPC3, pycnogenol bilberry fruit extract to help with microcirculation like fat in the eyes, grapeseed extract as it relates to a healthy blood vascular environment, also a liver health environment, citrus bioflavonoids to improve bioavailability and, um, and function within the cell and red wine extract or resveratrol because of its benefits to support blood sugar, um, again, um, age management, um, some of the concerns that we have with lipid health or cardiovascular well-being. Now, this does come down to the question, how do I know? It's great. I've made an argument for antioxidants, but what about the isotonic antioxidants? Think about this. A product with no fillers and binders, that's a win. Let's put that in the positive category. What about uh, the a combination of ingredients. It's not a standalone single ingredient product, but it has pycnogenol, bilberry, red wine extract, grapeseed extract, citrus bioflavonoids. We're going to add that to our multivitamin that gives us our vitamin C, our vitamin E, our selenium, some of those minerals like calcium, manganese, zinc, vandium, chromium, all of these things that are giving us that proper foundation, we're now going to add an antioxidant on top of that, right? So we're going to put that in the positive column. Well, now I want to show you a study that was done comparing a tablet OPC, the exact same quality raw ingredients, and an isotonic OPC3 or the isotonic delivery. And what they found is you are looking at a graph that shows the body's ability to quench free radicals. You can see in the orange bar, that was the tablet. There was a period of time where it was negative quenching free radicals, which meant not only did it need to overcome its form, during that time of overcoming its form as a tablet, 
it wasn't just not quenching any free radicals. It now had to come back below zero from a negative before it could do anything to help with free radical scavenging. But you can see how quickly in the burgundy line there that isotonic delivery got into the bloodstream, how much faster and how much, and, and, it, and at a higher level, it was able to get into the bloodstream. You can see for the entire 240 minutes here after consumption that the isotonic OPC3 was always outperforming from a free radical scavenging capacity, the tablet form. You guys, this was the same raw ingredient. These were the same quality ingredients. And that's why we know that delivery matters. When you can deliver a product in a, um, in a way that the body appreciates because it copies the body's natural physiology, you're going to get results just like this. But there's more than that to maximize your, your health. We've talked about the importance of a multivitamin. We've talked about the importance of an antioxidant, but the antioxidant that we talked about was a water-soluble antioxidant. So I need you to now flip the script and think about free radical scavenging in fat-soluble tissues. I want you now not to think so much about blood flow to the eye or blood flow to the brain, but actual tissue specificity of an antioxidant as it relates to fat-soluble tissues like the brain, like the back of the eye, um, when we think about the health of our skin. But I also want you to think about where free radicals get created um, in energy or in fat burning. Um, in muscle building. And so that's why I want you to know more about the natural astaxanthin from Astoril. With more than 150 published studies, much like pycnogenol, it is a powerhouse in evidence behind what we say it can do. With more than 60 published human clinical trials, we're able to look at cardiovascular well being and endurance mental or cognitive function and well-being, um, vascular health, as well as visual performance, muscular health and endurance, as well as skin health and beauty and hydration. Multiple places that you could be using an astaxanthin. But again, delivery matters. And so the way we have delivered this isotonic astaxanthin to you is in a cold water soluble formula. It's easy to dissolve. It can be added um, to water or um, other um, isotonics if that's what you're looking to do. The blessing and the benefit to isotonics is that they're like granimals, right? They all go together. But what we have done in an isotonic astaxanthin is not just bring you the only isotonic astaxanthin, but the only fully dispersible cold water astaxanthin. And that is unique. So while there may be other water solubles that are on the market, they are not fully dispersible. And for that reason, we know that we have like pycnogenol or the OPCs, a better bioavailability in this product. And we're able to show that better bioavailability and solubility in as little as 30 seconds with the cold water soluble astaxanthin. When we look at what are some of the benefits of cold water astaxanthin, astaxanthin astaxanthin has proven support when it comes to um, accommodation for whether it's looking at your computer, looking at your smaller devices or reading a book. Individuals that use six milligrams of astaxanthin have faster near focus. So from an age-related standpoint, right, when you're just in between needing those bifocals, one of the things you may want to do if you're trying to push off the need for bifocals is early on, start utilizing astaxanthin. Individuals that use astral astaxanthin clinically had 62% less eye strain and less um, oxidative stress in their eyes. Again, a fat tissue that is highly sensitive to UV rays and light. For that reason, um, it's not just about vascular health, it's about ocular health. And astaxanthin really nails it here. When we look at muscle performance, this is something that's really unique um, from the water-soluble standpoint of pycnogenol and the fat-soluble standpoint of astaxanthin, what we're going to get here is a lot of recovery benefits and endurance benefits. 
as um, pycnogenol gives a lot of blood flow, but astaxanthin is working on muscle um, ATP or energy production. So the very wild thing about astaxanthin is individuals taking as little as six milligrams were able to see an increase, a 3% increase in the cross-sectional mass of their muscle. So they were able to show muscular growth in a cross-section of um, their muscles. 55% improved endurance. Um, rate, um, um, marathoners, bikers, um, endurance athletes were able to trim time off of their total time and get a better personal record. 57% less exercise-induced inflammation, 14% increased muscular or muscle strength. So if you're like me and you like to pick up heavy things and put them back down again, astaxanthin is an antioxidant of choice for you. What about beauty from the um, beauty from the inside out? 14% more hydrated individuals that took six milligrams of astaxanthin um, had better hydration after eight weeks. They were able uh, to show better capacity to hold on to hydration in their skin. And this is of particular importance to people that are um, in um, areas like Arizona where there's a concern with that hydration, but also in an aging population where skin depth um, um, and skin's ability to hold on to uh, hydration is far less. So we want to think about acereal astaxanthin. Individuals that use acereal astaxanthin have smaller age spots. They had less line depth and line length of um, their wrinkles. They were more hydrated, which is where we appreciate the 14% fewer wrinkles after eight weeks and 50% smoother skin after eight weeks. There's also a corollary with astaxanthin and collagen. Um, what they were able to show in studies on skin health with astereal astaxanthin is that it improved collagen production by 52%. And um, when taken with a collagen supplement, they were able to show that huge bump in collagen, natural collagen production. And we know one of the reasons why this is true is because of the way astaxanthin positions itself in the cell membrane. We've known for a very long time, vitamin E and vitamin C are very beneficial for the skin. But you can see here based on their positioning that vitamin C and vitamin E either will not go fully into, as you see with vitamin C, it's not able to go fully into the skin, meaning it's more of an exchange antioxidant. It's gonna help other antioxidants recycle themselves. You can see that vitamin E, albeit a fat soluble, will not cross the entire cell membrane or bilipid layer, meaning that we're not getting a full antioxidant capacity or hydration capacity or protection or lipid oxidation protection capacity. But you can see there that astaxanthin crosses the entire cell membrane leading to stability. And this is one reason why we see less line depth and ring, um, line depth and line uh, wrinkle length because of astaxanthin, because it crosses the entire cell membrane, increasing that hydration capacity, stopping lipid peroxidation, and that means oxidation of fats or free radical damage to fat, right? As well as being able to improve hydration and um, fluidity or um, smoothness of the skin. That's a powerful place to be. So for many people, pycnogenol, and astaxanth uh, OPCs with pycnogenol and astereal astaxanthin is the way that they support their health from both sides. Now, it's so much more complex than just a multivitamin and an antioxidant. The body's complex, and ultimately, it is our gut biome that is creating wellness for all of us. When we think about what really rules the roost in energy metabolism, in mental well being, even in cardiovascular and cognitive function, it is in fact your gut bugs that are doing the work. So I want you to think about where are you getting your prebiotics from? Are you getting enough prebiotic food?
foods? Are you getting enough probiotic foods? Are you getting enough plant enzymes? If you're not getting these things, I want you to think about an enzyme formula for you. I want you to think about getting a full spectrum digestive enzymes. Quite frankly, in my opinion, enzymes are overlooked for the powerhouses that they are. Enzymes are what kind of trip the switch on many metabolic um, um, cascades or many metabolic processes need a light switch flipped on and enzymes are what are going to do that for us. Now you should know that enzymes are driven by minerals. And so that's why your multivitamin remains the base of your supplement regimen. But you do need to know that without enzymes, foods cannot be properly broken down, right? For energy, uh, for hormone production, uh, for muscle growth or muscle retention. It's important for you to know that without enzymes, cellular health can be completely arrested. So why digestive enzymes? Because we want to provide appropriate enzymes to meet the body's metabolic needs, to give you access to your foods so that you can manage your energy. You can support a healthy body composition, weight around the middle or inches or centimeters around the middle, that we do not lead to a state of cellular arrest. We ultimately want to support the absorption and utilization of uh, the nutrients that you're getting from diet. And that's why we have the clinically evidenced ingredient, Digizyme. Unlike other formulas, Digizyme does not come from glandulars of animals. It's not isolated from the organs of animals. It's also not isolated from gluten-dense grains. Digizyme is a full spectrum enzyme, and that means it can break down proteins, sugars, fibers. Um, it can break down um, and, um, these the micro or the macronutrients that we are looking to break down, but it's doing it in an acid stable plant based enzyme. So you want to know that your digizyme is plant based. It's acid stable, which means it's going to work at a very wide pH, which means it's going to work in a lot of situations. Clinical studies that have been done on Digizyme show that it helps with nutrient absorption, whether those nutrients are coming from a multivitamin or they're coming from your food. What they're able to show is enhanced absorption of vitamins and minerals when um, added to digestive enzymes. And so we have the isotonic digestive enzymes to promote that healthy digestion, support healthy cellular function, relieve issues that you may have with stomach upset or immune concerns, considering a large um, percentage, the highest percentage of immune uh, tissue is wrapped around your intestines. So you wanna make sure, if I like to say, the road to health is paved with good intestines. And this brings up so many questions about what are my unique factors? If those are some of your foundational supplements, what are you doing to help yourself with sleep? What are you doing um, when you go, but I'm not getting enough fiber in my diet or I take medications? Are there certain nutrients that are depleted if I'm taking medication? What about if I'm overstressed? Is there anything I could be taking that will help me with all of these issues? There is, and it's called a B vitamin. In fact, taking co a complex of B vitamins is big on my list. It's in my basic five of the five. Um, I've got an essential nine, a list of essential nine supplements that everybody should be taking. And B complex is in my basic five. That mean, And the reason I've put it high on the list in my basic five is because your body cannot make B vitamins. So you have to take them. But more importantly, an individual that doesn't sleep well, eat well, takes medications or is overly stressed, they're burning through their B vitamins very, very quickly, making the requirement to supplement or re um, nourish the body with, yeah, B vitamin rich foods, but also a B vitamin um, Com a complex of B vitamins through supplementation. When we think about the number one reasons why people take B vitamins, they usually have some level of fatigue. They usually have some level of brain fog or confusion. And they're just like, oh, I just cannot stay motivated. Or they even have some com um, compromised 
cellular systems. They don't detox well, right? So these are all good reasons to take a B complex, but I want you to know that we delivered it, these fermented B vitamins. So these non-synthetic B vitamins fermented from bacteria and using clinically evidenced ingredients like the non-synthetic quatrifolate in our product. This B9, good for individuals that have concerns with detoxification, cognitive function, energy, metabolism. At the end of the day, ask yourself if supplementation is a solution for you. Supplementation provides the essential, meaning your body cannot make them, so you need to take them, nutrients that you may not be getting in a sufficient amount to meet the metabolic demand on your body, the stress, the sleep, the exercise, the age, the lack of nutrient density in our foods. Quite frankly, many nutrients are just impractical to get from food, making supplementation an absolute necessity. Omega-3 fatty acids are a great example of this. And we know that individuals that take supplements notice meaningful changes in their energy and their sense of well-being, their joint discomfort, the sleep that they get, right? And for all of these different reasons, the quality of life reasons, I would love to see you start taking supplements. The most common reasons, as I said, people will take supplements because they feel tired. They want to lose weight. They want more metabolic energy or metabolic support in the sense of blood sugar health, cardiovascular well-being. Maybe they want more neurologic support. But when asked the question, who needs to supplement? Everyone needs to supplement. And that's why I want you to experience the difference with the Market America product line, superior quality, clinically evidenced ingredients, good manufacturing practices, and years of relationships with contract manufacturers that give us the very best in clinically evidenced ingredients. I want you to remember, it's not always about being the smartest. Sometimes it's just about being consistent. And I want to see you be consistent with your supplementation. Let's go ahead and find ourselves. If we've got some questions in the chat box, we've got just a few more minutes to answer those. And of course, if you've been following us on Facebook, make sure to put your comments down below and we will get back to you and answer those comments. I'm being asked to address the overdosing of vitamin supplements that some vitamins stay in our body longer and are not eliminated. This is true for synthetic vitamins. Um, vitamin C is one that's been listed here and that is a water soluble vitamin. So you're not going to build that up. Things like vitamin A or beta carotene, uh, those are um, when synthetic or hard to metabolize, um, but when taken from a non-synthetic source, is not a concern. When we look at things like vitamin D, often we find that it's just having a co-partner uh, or co-pilot that helps us manage that. And that's things like vitamin K. And so you may remember, I mentioned that we use maniquinone in our products and that's to help with vitamin D metabolism. Emily is asking, what are my top nine? And before I head out uh, to another meeting, I am, um, as I realize that we are right on top of the three o'clock hour, um, my essential nine start with the non-negotiable three. You need an antioxidant, you need an omega-3 fatty acid, and you need a multivitamin. That is the non-negotiable three. The basic five are the non-negotiables and B vitamins and vitamin D. The sexy seven are adding B vitamin or adding your basic five to probiotics and fiber. And the essential nine means that you are going to add in um, magnesium and coenzyme Q10. And with that, my dog has greeted me and we, I am going to sign off from this webinar and I'm going to head off to yet another place to educate my team. Everyone be well, be healthy, be brilliant.